Alrighty, Garfield here, Garfield's Gear Review, still out here, uh, taking a look at another knife. This is uh, the knife I've been carrying for a couple weeks now, the Columbia River Knife and Tool M16. This is the tan version that they sent, uh, awesome little knife, uh, it replaced my everyday carry for a little while. I kind of like it, uh, I gotta tell you, took a bit of getting used to though, very much uh, took some getting used to. First thing it took to getting used to, I am not used to being able to open it like this. That uh, that was new for me. It does work, however. It works very well. Uh, the other part was this little lock up here. That also was not something I was used to. This uh, Normally, you know, everybody's used to this liner lock. You just move that with your thumb and, oops, not with this one. You've got to push that back. Do the liner lock and then the blade will come down. Okay? But this one, not quite. However, I've been playing around with it. I've been playing with it just long enough now to get used to it. And today I've been out here uh, doing it for a lot of different things, using it for a lot of different things today. And I finally uh, put some gloves on today. And I have to say, after two weeks or more now of using it, I'm starting to get used to that lock. Okay, and yes... Uh, one of my friends asked me, well, how the heck do you do that if you got gloves on? Well, very easily, okay? One, yes, it opens. It opens very easily. Two, a little manipulation, but you can do this with one hand even, okay, with gloves on. I don't recommend it necessarily. I do like positive control, okay? One thing I was going to talk about when you're using without gloves or whenever is this is a sharp knife, okay? You want to be careful about getting your thumb in there with these serrations especially because they are sharp. We're going to take a look at that, in fact, right now. So, that's one of the things we're going to talk about here. Uh, just some, uh, some regular old twine. This is nylon twine. Uh, you see this at Home Depot. They got it out there so people can tie abnormally large loads into really, really small cars, overload their stuff. I just pulled a wad of it up here, and uh, we just cut through all of it. So, yeah, this knife is really good that way. Um, same twine I was using a few minutes ago. The MIK that I was using uh, cut right through this stuff. So does this. This cuts through. I have sharpened this knife one time. So, uh, I've used it so much, I did sharpen it a little bit. Uh, not a lot, just barely put the put a blade back to it. Uh, I did use the, uh, the serrations. They are a different type of serration too, by the way. They're all the same, and they're all at a bit of an angle. Okay, it's a little bit different, but uh, they work. They chew into things, and they cut. Okay. Uh, Remember this uh, with the uh, with the MIK we had to put down and cut into it a little bit. So I'm going to do that right off the bat with this. But same idea, a little bit of pressure, it works fine. I think I'm going to try the stabby test first. I'm going to try the stabby test just with the cardboard and uh, the top to that old plastic tub. I didn't pull a pallet up with me, but I did go all the way through. I got into the pallet, but, uh, yep. Okay. I wonder if we can get all the way through here, too. Okay. Yes, if you notice, it is a Tanto-style blade. Seems like there's a bit of, uh, you know, familiarity with me and Tantos. Yes, I like Tanto blades. I'll say it again. I do like them. Okay. Uh, this, uh, this handle, kind of good. A little bit different handle. Feels like uh, really, really fine sandpaper. Okay. Skeletonized. Uh, but it works. Works well. The swell down here. Uh, swell in the middle. The little tip down there, the way it got, works. Uh, it's good. Fits into your hand. Of course, the oversized parts here serve as uh, kind of like a halberd, okay, hand guard. Also, the points there, a bit of lashing. The uh, only thing you could probably fit through there would be a uh, thick fishing line. But uh, it does work if you want to make a spear out of this. It would work. Clip on the back uh, works as well. It's very good. 
does come with a sheath, does come with one, I have it. Um, just used uh, the MIK a minute ago over here. Okay, so uh, might as well try the serrations because again, these serrations, they are really nice and they bite. And so we're gonna put them to use here. And again, this is a folder. This isn't a fixed blade like the MIK was, but Wow, these serrations, they bite. I mean, they, they, they tear in. They, uh, they tear into stuff, they really do. That's how, uh, how much we went in there. That's how deep we went in, in just that amount of time. So, um, Columbia River Knife and Tool, the M16, very good. Again, yes, you can do this with one hand, okay, uh, with gloves. You can manipulate both the liner lock and the other lock, okay, get it closed up. Works well. The only uh, complaint, I guess, yeah, that clip is a bit tight, so I just haven't got it loosened up yet. Now, it did take me, again, about two weeks now to start to get used to manipulating the lock and then the liner lock with my thumb okay still not really used to it uh, I'm just again just uh, being able to get used to and manipulate it now last test we got how do we down the cardboard stabby is uh, obviously doing pretty good we are good for stabs stabs are, are cool It likes to cut, it likes to bite in. The blade likes to bite, not just the serrations, the blade does really well, okay? This thing likes to cut. It has cut everything I put in front of it. It has, it really, sorry. Ugh. It really has. It has cut everything that I put in front of it, okay? Denim. Okay. Come on now. Cut me. Can't get past the seam. There's a test. And it goes through. Okay, good to go. Anything, anything for everyday use, this is going to uh, surpass your expectations with it. It is 3.95 inches long. I recently had this in my pocket. We're going into a public building. Uh, they had a little measuring piece on there. Literally, just literally. And the person looked at me and said, wow, just barely. And I was like, Ugh. yeah, by design. They said, how? I said, 3.95. By design, just under the four inch public building thingy. Okay? Um, they didn't look at the serrations too much, thank God, because those things are really nasty. But everyday carry, this is the bomb. The Columbia River Knife and Tool M16, M, uh, really good for everyday carry. In flat dark earth, awesome little knife. Really like carrying this thing. Good to go. Garfield, Garfield's gear review. Here at the loadout room, Garfield out.